that's the culprit that's the igniter that we're about to change okay the way you get to the igniters you have to pull out the bottom drawer and take the bottom pan off and that gives you access to the electrical connector for the igniter okay the drawers off you can see right there there's a green connector and over there's where the gas comes out on the right hand side so we're going to disconnect that connector and uh, run the igniter up there where it belongs one of the things they tell you is that these uh, igniters are very delicate in the air as I was pulling it out it hit the ground and it shattered so we got to be real careful putting this new one in there once again the igniter got warm but it just didn't and it glowed but just not hot enough to turn the gas on to light the stove so we're going to stick this baby in now all right the igniter goes in this little housing here it slides in there there's a groove right here that you can see it goes into that groove and i'm scared to death because it's such a tight fit if that ceramic thing cracks off of there boy, i'm in some serious trouble so I'm going to try to get this thing in there gingerly. It's really, really tight. There it goes. I can't slide it too fast and too far. Okay. Okay. That looks like it's got it. By Jove, I think I've done it without breaking it. Well, we'll see. Now that we got the igniter, into its little case what we'll do is we will thread it through the little pan that it goes through but first we have to thread the gas line through first so this is just sitting on top of the stove door right now we'll um, stick it in its place in just a second but right now we'll get, we'll get this baby into place and uh, we'll get these screws on there. That's going to hold all of this nice into the pan. And then we'll put it back in. I'm going to put these screws in and turn it back on. Okay, turns out the best way to do this is to get the pan in first. Then put in the um, gas pipe. And now put the igniter in. And then it should all be marvelous. Alright, here we go with that. Igniter in there. of them to keep the pan and the gas in the right spot. So let's see. Okay, there's igniter. There's the gas. Now I think I'm going to test it out just to, before I install everything else, just to see if it lights. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. The oven is on. Hopefully that igniter will start glowing. And once it gets hot, and hopefully the stove will light. Oh good, it's glowing. Yes. Okay, that part's glowing. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me a flame. Come on, baby. Yes! Success, boys and girls! Do you see that fire? Woohoo! It works. Now I better turn it off before it gets too damn hot. Okay, I'm turning it off now, and we'll put it back together. Okay, now it's uh, time to put back in all the screws into this pan. All right, now that uh, all those screws are in around the edge and down in the pan, we'll put on the one that covers up the flame. I don't know what it's called, but I'll call it the flame 
cover will stick down. Once that's on, we're ready to put this thing back together. Oh yeah, this goes on top of that. Oh, I see. There we go. Alright, we're done. Oh yeah, and under the bottom, there's one more point that needs to go under. This baby goes here. There are two screws in the back, you see there? And I'll put that in, and we're all done. Here it is. It's in place. Everything's done.